this away. It's a bottle of herbs, fruits, barks, and berries gathered from many parts of the globe and blended into one mild yet effective tonic laxative. It's good for the entire family, the old folks, kids, and all. And now for a little more entertainment. When you're looking for a legend in the hills around Tacoa, you can sometimes lose your way. Where is this guy? I was driving down the road on a very normal day when I pulled into this... Excuse me. We're looking for Dr. Tommy Scott. Are you kidding me, lady? You just found him. <laughs> Black flower. To get an idea of the man, take a look at his house. Not your average mountain cabin. Not your average man, either. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hello. How are you? Come on in. Thank you. From the tip of his shoe to the top of his cap, Tommy Scott is a showman. Uh, when the Depression came along, I was out here hoeing cotton and corn, trying to make a living on my dad's farm here. And I thought after digging in the hot sun and around that corn and cotton, there must be an easier way of making a living than farming out here. <laughs> That's why I got in the medicine show business. Well, when I was a little bitty boy, I sure dark I wanted to be. Now I'm a music making snake oil seller, as happy as I can be. Lord, Lord, happy as I can be. Well, I'm a snake oil pitching man, Lord, Lord, snake oil pitching man. Yes, I'm a snake-all-pitching man, Lord, Lord, snake-all-pitching man. Uh, once a year, there would always be a medicine show come to Tacoa. And uh, so old Doc Chamberlain came to Tacoa about two years in a row. And he always had an amateur contest at the end of his uh, show. So I swung my guitar over my back, and of course, there's all dirt roads around here, and I walked and hitchhiked to town and, and got on to his uh, show there and done my little amateur bit, and he hired me. In those days, old Doc Chamberlain would look for a crowd, say a hanging in town. The medicine show would pull up and capitalize on the ready-made audience. Yes, yeah, step right up Doc Scott's last real old-time medicine show. And I feel feeling down and out, and you don't know what to do. Seem the world's done crush you, and your friends turn their back on you. Nature's pathway to health will help you. Try a bottle of the snake oil today. Just rub it on as it's plainly directed. It'll chase your aches and pains away. Most Those people work all of their life at whatever job they've got. Half sole and shoes, working in a factory, a garage, whatever all the time talking about, oh, I dread going back to work tomorrow morning. They're trying to save up to get them a motorhome or a trailer or something so they can go out and do the things that they've always wanted to do. You see, the funny thing, I'm doing what I'd rather do than anything in the world. And I guess I've been retired all my life. Baby walking down the street, telling everybody but the chief of police, you gotta go. Retirement to this Georgia native means traveling to 350 towns a year across the United States and Canada. He's done it for 50 years. Well, to be at my base, it's a feeling fine. I've been taking them herbs or roots of Paris and wine, but did you know? Well, I like to think it's sort of a medicine show clinic, as you've heard me tell before. We try to, to make them cleanse their mind, rub out the pain, and, and cleanse their system with a bottle of our Herbalite. <laughs> See, a lot of folks come down to our medicine show and they got a lot of problems. Yeah, a lot of folks have got a problem. But you see, what we do is sort of cleanse the mind. Cleanse the mind. Yeah, what do we do? Cleanse the mind. That's what we do, yeah. You see, when they come down to see our medicine show, them frowns are on their faces because the light bill's too big. Oh, and the gas bill's too high. Too high. The car payment is overdue. Oh, the kids ain't got no clothes and half enough to eat. Oh, and somebody might be a chasing somebody else because the alimony payment's oh, overdue. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, what do we do? Cleanse, cleanse the mind. That's what we do. We cleanse the mind. But first, we cleanse the intestinal tract with a little dose or two of herbal act tonic laxative. Snake oils, tonic laxatives, maybe. But I wanted to know what the stuff was really made of. It's got all of green soap in it. Of course, it all has to be right on the label here. Camphor, of course. And it's got menthol in it. And all of uh, wormwood. Snake oil turns a tidy profit. Doc Scott's daughter, Sandra, is his business manager. She ships the potion all over creation. I rubbed some of that snake oil on me. What, what could I expect to happen? <laughs> 
Well, now then, if you've got tired, sore, aching muscles, if you've been jogging too much, or if you just got plain old rheumatism or arthritis, it just might ease the pain. You know, medical science says that there's absolutely nothing will cure arthritis. And we don't say snake oil well either. But we do say this, that if you've tried everything else, try a bottle of my snake oil, and it just might help to relieve it. So, on the way out... Well, thank you. It's been my pleasure. Enjoyed it. Okay. One thing, Doc. Oh. I, I got a long drive ahead, and right. I got a little aching wrist right here. You got anything to help me out? Just happened to have the right prescription. Snake oil. <laughs> Take a little smell. Mm. Don't smell too bad, does it? <laughs> Let's rub a little on, all right? Okay. In fact, just take that bottle along. Okay? <laughs> rub it on, Janet. Rub it on. Rub it on. Rub it on. They say old showmen never die if there's one more matinee. I would like when my time comes to go to the great medicine show in the sky. I would like to walk off that stage and still hear them people out there applauding and buying another bottle of snake oil. That would make me happy. To make it feel fine, guaranteed to make it feel fine, guaranteed to make it feel fine.